today. Today, I'm going to discuss to you the biases and propaganda devices. So, let's first define what is bias. Bias are judgment based on personal point of view. Bias is an unfair preference for or against something. Examples of bias. Cats are not good for anything. He or she... He or she are biased against cats. So that is his or her only point of view. Next one, I don't like soccer anymore. Last year, I broke my arm playing soccer. So he or she are biased against soccer because this person thinks about her broken arm when he or she thinks about soccer. Next one, or last one, I like all sport, but none are as good as football. He or she are biased against sport except for football. So again, bias is only your personal point of view. So what is propaganda? Propaganda is information used to influence the way people think in order to first gain support for a cause. Example niyan ay sa politics. Next one, convince them to buy something. Papasok ko dyan or under nyan yung commercial or advertisement. Then, next one is convince them to do something. So, pwede din dyan yung politics kasi uh, ang ginagawa ng mga uh, tumatakbo sa politika, they convince them to vote for them. So, that is an example of propaganda. So, ano nga ba yung mga propaganda techniques? So, we have these propaganda techniques. First one is bandwagon. It tries to persuade readers to do, think, or buy something because it is popular or because everyone is doing it. So, example of poster of bandwagon is... Uh, so, the first picture is Coca-Cola. The drink everybody knows. So, kahit na ako na hindi ko pa alam yung Coca-Cola, pag sinabing the drink everybody knows, it encouraged me to buy Coca-Cola because it is popular. So, so, next one is plain fox. You are encouraged to use a product because it is what folks at home are using. So, ano ba yung folks at home? So, yun yung mga kasama nyo sa bahay na nakakagamit nung product na yun. This uses ordinary people as endorser to show that the product is being used by usual person. So, common na to sa mga nag-online selling ngayon dahil, di ba, nag-pandemic. Uh, umusbong yung kanilang industry na online selling. So, yung, yung propaganda techniques na yan ay gamit na gamit nung mga nagbebenta ng product. So, pinapakita nila dun kung ano yung benefits ng product ino-convince nila yung consumer para mabili yung kanilang product. So, that is a plain fox. A propaganda techniques. So, next one natin is testimonial. It attempts to persuade the reader by using a famous person to endorse a product or idea. For instance, celebrity endorsement. So, example natin dyan is yung commercial ng Milo. So, di ba ginagamit nila yung iba't ibang athletes to convince the viewers or the readers of some magazine na bumili ng kanilang product. So, ginamit din nila dyan si James Reed so, sa Milo, Milo, Milo Energy Gap. So, that is an example of propaganda techniques that falls under with testimonial. Then, we have here name-calling. It attacks on person instead of an issue. So, example. And then, we have here glittering or generality. You give in because you are overwhelmed by vague, sweeping statement that is usually come in slogan or simple catchphrases. For example, then, yung KFC, they have this tagline na finger-licking good. That is false under with Glittering or generality. Example for that is this kind of poster. Things go better with go. So that is a propaganda technique that falls under glittering or generality. So another propaganda techniques or device are, this is what you call the technical jar jargon. 
It uses unfamiliar or highly technical terms to impress, confuse, or deceive consumer or audience. It does not really explain how it is connected with what is being promoted. So, example picture. The first picture and the second picture, there is a there is a meaning behind that poster. So, brainwash. So, dun pa lang, dun sa brainwash. Di ba parang ang pinopromote dyan? So, next one is appeal to fear. It scares or frightens consumers so that they will either patronize or avoid the product or service. So, best example niyan is yung nasa pakete ng sigarilyo. May, na, may nakalagay na statement doon na cigarette, um, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. It may result to cancer and other respiratory illnesses. So, that is an example of propaganda techniques that falls under with appeal to fear. We have here the last one, powerful words. It uses either pleasant or hideous sound to either lure or drive people away from something. So, best example niyan is the shampoo commercial saying shiny, smooth, and silky hair to convince the audience or the viewers to buy their product or their shampoos. So, that is an example of propaganda techniques that falls under with powerful words. So, so that is all for today. Thank you and God bless.